Hi, right, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to Sports Really Podcast. It's your boy, Dr. J. Mr. Watch. Ashley Ray. And this is your weekly conversation on mental health, social issues, and other contributing factors plaguing society. This is What's the Really Podcast. Hey. Hey, and we are back. Uh, we're going to jump right into today's topic, because like I said, we're going to try to get, you know, things jumping quick nowadays. Uh, but what we want to kind of talk about today is just how you deal with, like, spending time with your people. Taking time and spending time with your people. And uh, me and Watch kind of wanted to go into this, really because we took a trip last weekend. Mm-hmm. We hit New Orleans. I know everybody in New Orleans this weekend. Yeah, we asked you, no, don't say shit. We asked you, no, don't say shit. They asked left you. me. Shit, no. Because we asked you multiple times. We like, I don't know. We going to see. We tried to get you. Yeah, both were rooms. Right yeah, we had two rooms. With a whole room. bunch of niggas. <laughs> no, there is a room. Oh, you didn't tell me that. Yeah, I told you that. I oh. We just split everybody up and had extra rooms. So. Oh. Yeah, your fault. Oh. You could have you could have brought home girl or something, you'd have been fine. Mm-hmm. I did nothing. Nothing. You ain't do nothing. You could have went to the racist parades with us. Yeah. But yeah, we just wanted to talk about basically yeah. since <laughs> since we talk about mental health on here, um, one of the things that we wanted to kinda of touch on was just taking care of your, your your time to spend time with your people. I mean, you know, people are dying left and right. You know, things are always Ooh. going on with work and school and all kinds of things. People have families, you know, a couple, a couple of dudes with us, like married and all that kind of stuff. And so we want to just kind of discuss, like, how y'all feel about, you know, spending time. Do you feel like you take enough time to spend with, like, your friends, like, going on trips, doing stuff like that? Just, yeah, just a get-together. Or just even get together. Do you ever get together with your friends, like, often? No? That's a lot of that money. I don't think so. Not often. Um, why not? When I work, I'm drained. I want to be left alone. So do you think like... It's the, been a long, a long season for me. So you think the work drains you to where you don't just want to deal with it? Yeah, anybody? I think so. So you don't blame work? I, yeah. Damn. I think, I, think, I think it's a fact of... Um, I deal with too no, many people there. I don't talk well, to I think, I, think, I think it's a fact of they have work and other factors of like you have friends that's married, friends that have kids and stuff like that. And if you don't have kids or you're not married, you feel like, hey, we might not have something to talk about. Or, or I got to do a date with them. Yeah, I'm saying you doing, you got to plan shit out with them. Yeah, I'm not like a that. planning person. And, that, I don't yeah. really plan that well. Cause I'm just saying, what do you and I've, I've gotten called out for that before because they were like, because I'm, I'm real like, you know, shit, I ain't doing that right now. Hey, y'all want to go hit this happy hour real quick? Like, I'll do yeah. that in a minute. And people be like, oh, no, nah, you know, you got to tell me that kind of stuff, you know, a couple days ahead of time. You know, I got to find somebody for the kids. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like Watch said, if, if I ain't married and ain't got no kids, then I don't really be thinking about well, shit. Well, you move different. Cause like I said, I got, I got family members and certain friends, whatever, that's married and have kids. And I don't. So it's kind of like, Things I kind of want to do or spur the moment, whatever. It's like I can't really call y'all, include y'all, whatever, because y'all not on that shit. Plus, I don't want to bring y'all out in some single shit, and y'all married and shit like that, and that'd be an issue. Mm. So, so it makes you kind of move different, whatever. You want to involve your friends and certain stuff like that. So, and then you don't want to go do some kid shit mm. if you ain't got no kids sometimes. So, and then fuck some kids. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you don't want to be an accessory to niggas being trifling either. Right. Because then you got your homeboy. Because, 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 because a lot of times it's looked at it like that. Oh, you going out with that nigga? That nigga ain't got nobody, no kids, whatever. You, you going to fuck around. So he's going to blame shit. you. But he'll blame you. His wife's going to blame you. His wife's going to blame you. And, he gonna, and she going to not want you around. And she going to, you know, DM you be like, stop home with my wife. Yeah. That, yeah. But, <laughs> I'm, I'm, but see, the thing is, a lot of times, and now I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to. Like saying anybody in particular or anything, but like a lot of times, just from like experiences that I've seen from other people, like you run into people that like they enjoy doing that single shit, they be married, and then you be like, you be like, well, I don't want to be a part of it because then I don't want nobody to think that I am condoning. What single shit? Just going like I mean, not even that bad, but just like when you see the same nigga out every day, you be like, yeah, what's up? You be like, ain't you married with kids? Like, don't you want to see something? But she can still be out. That's what I said too. Damn, but see, but see, like that. No. You have more than me, yeah. but that's a bit. But, that's, but, that, but that's, all, that's all concept of thinking of being like, hey, they just not allowed to get like, because they don't know if his wife go out and do her thing when he at yeah. home with the kids or whatever. So it's Maybe kinda, they need a break. But that's, that's just our feeling of being like, damn, nigga, ain't you supposed to be here? Yeah. Like, where are your kids? Like, <laughs> like where are your children? Why why are you, even even women, I've seen women that be out all the time. And I'm like, I got a couple. And they're like single mothers. So I'm like, damn, who is that no. damn kids? I got a couple. 
couple homegirls like, they, they good. They need a I mean, break. Mama need a break no, too. Now that and that's what I'm saying. This is kind of what we kind of touched on today is like sometimes I understand you need a break, and so like, I, but I can't say that I understand that because I don't I don't know it. You know what I'm saying? So. Like when I when you see them, you know, from the outside looking in, you're like, damn, like where your kids at? But at the same time, they do spend a lot of time with their children. So, like a lot of most people are gonna spend time with their kids. They're gonna spend time with their wives and families and all that kind of shit. But like, it's just that because you only see them in a certain capacity, all of a sudden it's like, damn, I always see you out. Like, why are you never at home? You know what I'm saying? You have the that end of the spectrum, whatever. Then you have other people like. How we had like two people on the trip with us that was married, have children and stuff, mm-hmm. and they get used to just being like, "Yeah, everything I do is for my job or you know, what I'm saying with my family and stuff like that," which they love and they enjoy and stuff. But they was like, "Damn, doing a weekend like this is like, damn, I ain't to the trip with y'all niggas in like in ten uh, years." Yeah, it, it, and it, it, y'all it, it, cried. No, I don't know. It dropped y'all, a tear or two. Y'all cried. Oh, he was drunk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hell no. Drunk, drunk, he probably passed out on food. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, bang that. Banged out. Oh, uh, power that the uh, uh, energy drink. Uh-huh. Yeah. Bang. Yeah. 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 Man, we need to get we need to get like I'm some bang space for bang because bang is real. I know. Why Why are you not drinking it? I don't do the energy drink. But see, the difference in bang is, and I'm just not I bad see. or anything, but I'm just saying from from experience from this past weekend, bang is really good because like it's not it's not like your normal energy drink where you get like real real high drop caffeine and sugar. It's like it's it's got vitamins and shit in it. Like it doesn't have no sugar, no caffeine. So like it, it you're getting the energy comes from like the B vitamins and stuff like that that's in it. So like you don't have that crash and yeah, stuff like that. They were like two crackheads. Now we were other friends, but they were like two crackheads. They was some, he was like they were kind of like drifting off a little bit. He was like, you get ready, woo! Yeah. Woo! Like yeah. I was up, I was ready, like because I was tired. That was the first night we got there. We got there, we left on Saturday. Mm-hmm. And so when we got there Saturday night. Like, I mean, like, we wanted to go out and do stuff Saturday night. Everybody else was, like, kind of turned it down. It was like, man, let's drink this bang. And I drank a bang, and I was ready. Like, I had energy. Like, it was about 30 minutes later, I was ready to go. Like, we went to the parades. We hyped the parades and shit. You could see everybody that didn't drink a bang be like, shit, man. It's about time to wind it down. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Yeah, one person would be like, damn, I know it's, like, about one Sunday right now. We're like, nigga, it's still it's 10 o'clock. o'clock. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> It's got to be at this least 1.30. This is just the beginning. Yeah, it was the first night. He's like, man, it's got to be at least 1.30. Because, of course, we had to go to the parades. And, you know, the parades started like 6. We got yeah. out there about 8. And so, like, we, we hit, like, a fuck up with the parade things, you know, out there catching bees, all that kind of shit. And then, like, it hit, like, that parade ended, and we went inside to go have some drinks. And then one dude was like, man, dog, I think, man, it's got to be at least 1.30. It was 10 o'clock. I was still hyped. I was on that bang. Yeah, him and the bang brother was, was, yeah, was like, they were like, we're going to keep going, baby. Wired on that bang. It was like cocaine. We just keep going, baby. We're going to keep going. Oh, you know what cocaine is? I know what cocaine is. <laughs> I, I've never tried it. Watch those kids. Yeah, that, that, watching Doja. Hey, don't talk Instagram. about Doja. Hey. Did you watch her Instagram when she was on that coat? Nah. Oh, she fine as fuck, but uh, she was on that coat. Tough. Yeah. She was she kept wiping her nose and shit. <laughs> she been down one time like the lab they here. We're like, you yeah. just doing that line? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't don't do it. But no, nah, but back to the topic, like it, it it was good to be out there with people that we hadn't like hung out with. I think the last time we said we had hung out was maybe like two thousand twelve or something like that. Yeah. Like to where we had all gotten together. Uh-huh. And we kind of discussed how like rare it was. Cause before that I think we, we had, had a out. men's retreat. I guess you could call it. And y'all wanted me to, no. Dude's night out. You would be at the dude. I'm like, dude, Ashley, dude. Great. Ashley, you like one of the niggas, man. Great. You would have, yeah. a, you would have a ball too, but you'd be on the bank too, bro. Yeah, you probably would have I would have drank that bank. <laughs> yeah, turkey. I already know where we all have to drink this, but not at work. Like, they drink it at work a lot. Yeah. I see why if you describe it like that, because I do. I was drinking coffee and I stopped. Yeah, no, ca- coffee could mess you up just because of all the caffeine. Yeah, but I was sugar. shaking. I couldn't write. Yeah, it. And I was make like, you jittery. Right. Like but I can't. Bang write. don't do that, baby. Bang is right. But who's drinking it? My job. I just look at the no mind. <laughs> <laughs> you lie too. But they, be nah, they look like they on the other shit too. So. Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of makes you feel that way. But it's good. Like it, it's a good feeling. Um, but like I was saying, like before this, we hadn't hung out since like 2012, and I think we discussed it. Like before that, it was probably like spring break while we were in college. So in the past, was it been like 15 years? We hung out like twice on the trip uh, in yeah. 15 years. 
So okay. like it, it, it brought to mind this idea that, you know, people don't really just spend time, you know, hanging out with their people as much. Sometimes. I think men definitely need a trip like that probably once a year or whatever to get away from. No, we, just, we're just like, like we, need, we, need to, we need to get together like once or twice a year. Like anything I can say was being adults and all whatever, it mm-hmm. shouldn't be nothing for us to be like, hey, you playing out a weekend, hey, we're going to shoot out here with our right? Like I say, we, we shoot out to New Orleans for that or we shoot out to Vegas to go gamble and bullshit, whatever. It's like it shouldn't be nothing just to do something like that at this point in our lives. Okay, so what do you feel about the men that always are out shooting somewhere to big events that like they're single but they're always in the mix? Is if they the same single, thing? they're single. That's your, that's your problem. If they're single, then what's the problem? I feel like but some single, people would be want. like you. Man, when y'all get tired, like some people will say, "Damn, he always out or she always out somewhere." When she gonna sit down? Like, is that I mean, dating or? It's 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 kind of it's up to the person that is doing it because some people will say, well, no, nah, it's about time for you to settle down, get your family, blah blah blah. But what if you just a person that don't feel like you really need that right now? Like, right. If, well, uh, what if you're a person too? Yeah, hey, if I like to be out at the spots and the events with her, right? Why don't I go and find somebody that likes to be out there with me? Yeah, go with me. Like it, oh, they're like their um, companion. Or yeah, something? yeah. Like yeah. what they looking right for a companionship while they out all the time? Like what, what they, what they looking, looking for? Free, free okay. spiritually. So let, let's say it's you, like you said, it's a dude that go to every event. Yeah. And like every event he goes to, he keeps seeing this. Yeah, he had chick. He had some. Let's say he keeps seeing the same chick everywhere he go. Like this chick always be out too. Like they both always everywhere. Yeah. What if they just get together, and now they go let me, to all the places together? Let me tell you how that's gonna look. He gonna be like, why are you always out everywhere? He gonna basically say she gonna be the same thing. She gonna say the same thing now. No. Men don't want a woman that's out all the time. Men don't want a woman that they, uh, I don't even say that because it, it just depends on the man. Because some men want you know a woman that. what you was going to say, brother. I was going to say, <laughs> men don't want a woman. <laughs> men don't want a woman that, like, they, that they think is out for other reasons. Like, like they trying to. Uh, I got told <laughs> I was out Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Were you out there as they party Saturday or Sunday? What is out? When you just gonna have a drink with a this, friend? This, this is my That's idea. my thing. I, what I is out? See, I can see that. I can see that a couple of years ago when that being a big issue, uh, with like niggas saying that whatever. But women are so uh, advanced hey. in education and their careers and stuff like that. They can afford to do what the fuck they want to do. Right? Out. Ain't and nobody they, giving me yeah. no money. And I see a lot of women like just traveling, like say, in groups or by themselves on some solo shit doing their thing. So it's kind of like if you like, I don't want her to be always out, nigga, and stuff like that. It's like shit. She can do that. Yeah. Right, she yeah. can afford it. I was you know out. What I'm she right. got the time. She ain't got no kids, no family. No. She she on the move. Let her be on the move. I came to support a lot of people or events I went to. Like God dang, or, or just be on some shit that life is short. I just don't right. want to. I don't want to be at home. Yeah. Exactly, because that's I I get told that a lot too. I mean, you are out. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, but my thing is while I have the time, because I do I do eventually want to settle down, have a family, and when I do that, I know with myself. I know, I know my personality. Like, I feel like once I get to that point where I have a wife and a family, I'm gonna devote most of my time to that because that's just who I am. I'm a family person, but while I don't have one, yeah. shit, let me let me see what I can get into. I'm oh. gonna be more on the move. I'm not even thinking about this shit. You know, thinking about family, husband, and not that. right now. That's good. You know, and the thing is, you don't have to, and I think that's what a lot of people are pushing, and that's why we oh, kind of want to talk about like, that. Like, why you don't want to settle down? I mean, the the thing is, it's like, um, what was that? Andre 2000 hit, had this one line. Um, huh. Peninsula, baby. That one. Nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that one too. But, <laughs> no? Okay. But no, it, it was, he said, he mentioned something about how, like, married men wish that they could be living See? that single life. Yeah. The same way that a lot of single men be like, now I'm ready to settle down. Like, they both each, like, once you get into your perspective areas, like, you kind of want to, you lust for the things that you don't even have anymore. Like they, the the married men are, are they have the, the significant other, they have loyalty, they got trust, they got all the shit that you would want, but niggas is out here single, fucking with a bunch of girls, and they like, man, I wish I had just one that would just like settle down and be loyal, like I could just settle down with, but it's like you don't, it's hard to gauge when you're ready for that. So like until you are, you just gotta live. You gotta live what whatever makes you happy in life. You gotta do that. Do what makes you happy. And even when you do finally settle down, you still gotta find the shit that makes you happy. Which is why we talk about these trips and these things that you take time aside to be like, okay, not even trips, 
But just taking time aside to be like, hey, I ain't seen y'all in a couple in a Let's couple go months. have a drink. Let's so go play some, some chess. Some shoot some pool. Did you say some chess? Play chess. Do, do people play chess like that? At no, Keratin, like they do. At who? Keratin. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Carol? I was saying, she said Carrington's. <laughs> she said Carrington's. I was like, that's a nice place. They play chess there? They play chess. Damn, they play chess. Play chess. Play chess. Play chess. No, I'm saying it like Let's you make it sound like an upscale. But you made Carrington sound like an upscale place. You know hey. Carrington's where they play chess and sit wine. They drink the upscale <laughs> yeah, for they, me. And they start to shoot somebody every other Hey, 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 hey. But she said hey. Carrington's. They Get that before like, now. That's why we did Friday. Friday. Before <laughs> now, ladies. Yeah, they got, I, no, they drinks is good, though. You got to get there and get but, out. Like, but I told you to stay. <laughs> you got to take time to, to, like, go out and do those types of things, though. That's you know, why it was Valentine's Day. <laughs> Yeah, I see. Some lonely ass folks up in there. I was, was one of them. Yeah, I was like, I should have been there too. Yeah. <laughs> you, you sound like that stripper we saw. Yeah, he uh, was in there. What up, one, <laughs> Oh, yeah, that one stripper. Oh, y'all went to the strip club? No, no, listen. <laughs> we went to the strip club. Yeah, that's and, what y'all did. And it was like a Sunday night. Like, it was a random. <laughs> So we just, we just ducked off on Berkeley. Yeah, we just like, man, let's just go into strip club, whatever. And it, it was like, oh, it, it comes only like five dollars. Let me tell you why. Let me let me tell you what happened. So it was like five dollars to get in or whatever. So it was like, oh, this is cheap. But then they had like a drink minimum and their beers were like twelve dollars. But anyway, twelve dollars yeah. for a beer. They had to make spent, up money somehow. I spent fifteen to get five to get in and tip for the drink. Yeah, but then you ain't okay, that no, because let me tell you why. So the women in there were ter- terrible. Terrible, like it, it, it wasn't nobody you wanted to spend. Well, like KOD, no? No, like you're skinny, skinny white women with nobody or nothing. Like it was nasty. Because you're on so, Birdman. Anyway, so like this one black girl, the one, like it was like two, three, like two black girls in the whole place. One of them was decent. She had an ass or whatever, but she still wasn't cute or nothing. But she come up and she's like, Talking down to all the girls, like, you know, this ain't the good squad, you know what I'm saying? This this is where they, you know, these girls are here terrible, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, but you here. So you ain't on the good squad either. It's like you can't talk about nobody in here. She <laughs> is one of the good squad. She just got to work that day. No, she nah. on JV. What's the left? Yeah. 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 She was a JV starter. That's all she was. Yeah. It was a JV starter. <laughs> like, you know how niggas be on the JV and they start, they think they cold. Then you would call when, 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 when the JV season ends, then she'll move up to varsity, but. And sit the bench. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but she was the boss. Y'all yeah, are so hating. But I'm saying that, that's how yeah, she, <laughs> she, she, she needed to know. Because she should, like, if you think you the shit, you should be letting them up. You know what I'm saying? Hitting everybody up. You sitting in the back over there on your phone and shit. Yeah, she on the phone playing shit. and shit. Like, so she ain't asked y'all, did y'all want to laugh then? Oh, she came she over there. She came over there and talking. I was like, yeah. Yeah, no, nah, I was straight. Why they be saying, oh, I don't like strip clubs. You want some company? That's what that's what I'm Oh, saying. company. Company yeah, to me company. would be like some, let's go to your room. Like, oh, maybe. No, you you know, probably they home. Home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what like, they Hey, that's right. Hey, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's Trying to get paid. Uh, oh my god. Not me. Like, really? I'm a mal- <laughs> Not me saying it, but my girl. Okay, okay. Yeah. 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 My girl saying it. Oh, okay. That's what's up. We were more interested in getting some chicken or some pizza. Yeah, we were. <laughs> oh, they had food enough? No. Oh, why y'all put it up? Where the niggas want to go on the street? Yeah, we were just ducked off on a Sunday night. Y'all was drunk. We were actually. You know, because we actually. Y'all just wanted to see what type of girls was in there. Oh. Break right before that, like I said, just the crazy shit you see. We go, come back. I told you about that. We had came back. We went to parades and shit that Saturday, whatever. I mean, that Sunday. We was catching beer and shit. We was drinking a little bit. We the casino was money and shit. Bullshit. Um, we got back to the hotel. Uh, the niggas on the bang passed out. Mm-hmm. Out of there. Out of there. About four, like three, four hours, whatever. <laughs> what time was this? This was like. This is making the room about like seven. Yeah, this is midday on Sunday. It's like yeah. seven, eight. These niggas passed out. So we're like, we like, we're gonna get back up and go. And everybody like, we're gonna chill for a little bit, go back out. These niggas passed out. Mm. So we put leave at like nine, whatever. Call, what's up? Nothing I read it. Niggas knocked out. Mm-hmm. So probably my other partner I'm like, hey, we're gonna leave by eleven. We're gonna head back to Bourbon or whatever, another little spot to see what's up. Uh, and this nigga finally woke up out of his coma. Yeah, I, I he came, but before he woke up, uh, I'm in the room. And he had all this commotion outside. So he's like, man, what the fuck? What the fuck going on in the hotel? So I go outside the room. Man, this dude, black dude, got, got the woman over the balcony, over the railing. 
<laughs> gonna throw over there. Third, we're gonna third floor. So like that. So, everybody, so you just watch. No, I'm watching because like little white people and shit. They so you would back on the ID channel. Man, I wouldn't be posting that <laughs> shit. I'm like, this nigga might have a nice soft poking niggas and shit. Or he might just, because he basically like, look like he broke her hand. Whatever, because he was like, man, you gonna give my motherfucking money. You gonna give my motherfucking ring and shit like that. We like, at first it was like some prostitution pimp shit with her, right? Mm -hmm. Or like, she tried to rob out some money. Yeah. So little white folks, whatever, they trying to, oh my God, no, you gotta go. Security staff come over there, you know what I'm saying? They, um, Take him back up to her room upstairs, all right? And she's up there. She, yeah, hey, this ain't the first time. This is why I went to jail last time. I'm like, oh my God. So, <laughs> so I just stayed back. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I was like, we finna see a murder and shit. I was staying there today. I was asleep today. Yeah. I, I woke up and it just ended. I walked out there when it ended. Aww. Yeah, so it was, it was just crazy. It was yeah. crazy that you see. After that, we went to strip club. Yeah, then we went to strip club. So you gonna let the lady just get basically flipped over the balcony? There was five people helping her. No, fuck that. I would be like, no, she was already after, like, they got up off the balcony. And they was on the floor, kind of like wrestling with the dude, and I was like, Oh, you was watching? Yes, I stood back. This New Orleans, they murdered my ass, they ain't gonna find out who did. Right. Uh -huh. Because no security came, no police came. Just people was, handled uh, it. Yeah. You know, used to, we would shut, they would shut all they that shit down, y'all gotta leave. My partner Somebody like, got arrested. My partner was like, I seen 300 <laughs> cops outside for the parades and shit. Oh yeah, they ain't fucking with people. nobody. Yeah, they're not fucking coming at They ain't fucking with nobody. Come out I remember one Mardi Gras, I seen people fighting, and they were just standing there like, they better, they better get rid of that shit. <laughs> they better handle that shit themselves. Police didn't mess with nobody. Like, I don't understand what you can and can't do here. Like, uh -huh. it was just too much. Free. I think, like, I didn't want to go because Mardi Gras was going to be too much for me. I would have went, I, we should have went this weekend. It was way, yeah, but. Ooh, it would be even worse, worse though. Yeah. yeah. What, what you mean it's by too much? It's too many people. I don't want to be around okay. that many people. So that brings up a question. Since we talked about group trips and, and going uh, places with your friends. Do you think it's better to go to like big events as a group trip, or do you think group trip would be cool if y'all went somewhere like kind of duck, not necessarily ducked off, but like on an off weekend? Like, let's say you went to not even off weekend, and, you could like, like yeah, you like, like a out vacation. Out of the country, but, but I like, like that. Not a lot of people, yeah. well, you would rather do that. Like, I mean, with like, a group of a group of like ten would be well, no, cool. I'm saying your with group my people, good, but like, yeah, not I don't a, trust nobody else. Not a big event where there's a whole bunch of people. I'm getting older and See, I don't trust a lot of people, so no. Oh, good. See, I think I think those kind of trips, whatever you take, is good, especially like you've had some people that you're your friends, whatever. Some people got their couples, whatever. Yeah. You're taking off kind of off event kind of trips. Those yeah. are good because you're just with your people, whatever. Yeah. You're just having fun. I feel like if you're in a group of singles, whatever, then yeah, that's when you want to go to something of function that's actually going on. Because you want to run into more people and stuff like that. But when you that's true. Them off weekend, off event type trips, you want to just celebrate your people. Like I'm here to have fun with my group of friends and stuff like that. So how do y'all feel about like? Um, taking group trips where like there's couples and single people involved because like let's say like your homeboy gonna bring his wife like two two couples a man and wife another man and wife and then you you there by yourself with your homeboy like y'all y'all be like a big resort room yeah, or whatever shit, and no. you don't you don't believe in mixing the couples and single trip no more why not <laughs> what what's wrong with having couples on a single trip <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, cause you don't want me to cover up. <laughs> Why you? Like, oh, I went, I went to Jamaica. Yeah, that shit did happen to me. That's stupid. We went to Jamaica, like, and I don't know what it was. They were just like, oh, my husband won't let me be. I have to wear my cover up. He won't let. He don't like me showing my body. I like that. I was like, all right, oh, well, that's it's just you. Yeah, that's I'm out here, but like, it's a swimsuit, man. Don't make it seem like I'm just showing my. Come on, they try to. Some women are just like insecure with some shit too. So. Yeah, and that that's an insane. That's that's knowing your. So friends. you never know. That was fucking family. So you never know. <laughs> like that's you never. Know. Yeah. So you don't know. I didn't see that shit coming, but it happened. That's why I was like, eh, I'm done with the whole me spending time with you and your damn husband. I'm not here single, and I'm talking to folks. It's a problem. But I guess that's why I say like a mixed trip in the in the sense of like. Oh, I'm gonna bring somebody else. No, like it's gotta be a lot of a lot of single people and maybe it just still a couple was couples. and them hoes were still hating. Well, that's stupid though. Like that that's a that's a proper day relationship. That ain't got nothing to do with Man, like. It felt like the very folks were fucking hating on us. Cause I wasn't going to sleep. But, and that, and that, like I said, that's an issue. Whatever. Like you will want to bring people, but like I don't want to if they married or they a couple to exclude their significant other and stuff like that. You want that to happen, but like I say, if you do have people that have a, like a lot of 
issues in that situation. Yeah, and, and they bring that shit to the And those things come out a little bit more. And I don't want to be on my vacation with your bullshit. Yeah. Because like, you, like, you, like, you like, and Tyrone like, going yeah. through. You're like, hey, what was up? You know what I'm saying? Like, well, no, she tripping, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, what's Nobody want to hit that shit. But see, that's, and that's the thing. Like, so, last time I did it, like, I was I was one of the couples on the trip. Mm -hmm. Right? So, but the thing is, like, my relationship was in the sense that, like, she, her people, like, she had single friends there. I had single friends there. So, it was it was okay. Because, like, when it came time to do shit, like, me and my homeboy went off and did some shit, and her, her friends went off and did some shit, and we came back together, and we all hung out. But it's the dynamic of the person that you're with, and whether or not y'all can, like, party together. Like, but I feel like people that aren't able to do trips like that, they couldn't probably go anywhere. They probably already had fucking together. issues before yeah. they came, and now I gotta deal with it. I right. didn't know that shit. But right. that's what I'm saying. Like, you gotta, you gotta be able to. So how I'm supposed to know before I get you? Can't, no, I'm talking about the couple. You want to make sure y'all have and, no damn issues. And issue. with that aspect of it, it's kind of like if you kind of have that kind of dynamic. Then if you the couple, then she needs to have somebody there, her friend, whatever that's there that she can be with. If you going out and doing something with your friend, because right. if she's there as a, as y'all as a couple and you're like, oh yeah, I know these people, but I really don't know this other people, or whatever. Yeah. And so when you doing something with your homeboy, or whatever, you kind of leaving her by herself. Right. And that causes a whole nother issue yeah. dynamic. Or or you need to have somebody that you with, and like I said, everybody's different and it depends on your relationship. But you need to be with somebody that is okay hanging out with with dudes. You know what I'm saying? Like if you if you got a cool ass gal, like or your wife mm -hmm. or your girlfriend, whatever, if they cool as fuck and y'all, you know that they can kick it with the niggas and like you know what I'm saying we can smoke, drink, whatever, and everything's cool and then she's still gonna be good with it, then that's good for that kind of a trip. Yeah, she would, she, she the main one be like, man, what the fuck y'all doing? Let's yeah, go, let's, go let's go do something. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like if, if you have a gal like that, then it's cool. But like I've been places where it's like you have the gal that's like. Y'all doing too much. We supposed to be just sitting here chilling, and then like the dude be like, "Hey, y'all. I mean, I'll catch up with y'all later. You know what I'm saying? I gotta go back to the room." And I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's, that's what I'm saying because of those type of dynamics and yeah. some kind of issues, whatever. Then it kills the whole reason for the trip. Right, you kill the trip because because the trip is supposed to be like hey, us, us unwinding and enjoying just being around each other. We ain't been around each other. If if I invite you to be like, "Hey, you no know saying, kind of go out on this trip." And then you go and then you unhappy the whole goddamn trip. It's like, nigga, it's like, why are you even? Y'all ain't never had nobody like that. All the time. Oh, yeah. Okay, y'all always, okay, I thought it was just, no, okay, no. a men's trip, y'all have somebody that's like, oh, what yeah. the fuck? Or did y'all have somebody that ain't had no money? Y'all talk. It, 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 it happens all the time, but like I say, and that's what and that's what makes us have this. Just make it show. No, that's what made us have this conversation <laughs> this time around, whatever, like this, because we had no issues. Yeah, oh, financial, like, that's like, good. Like, financial. I ain't been on that side of the trip in a long time. Because, because the reason why we had no issues is because of each nigga on the trip. Right. You know what I'm saying? Each nigga knows. know you going with. Yeah, we know, like, everybody's in the same Sometimes you don't know where they're coming from. I mean, that's like, what I'm saying. Are you okay. serious? So, but, like, what I was just saying, like, we knew everybody going into the trip. Luckily, we knew everybody going into the yeah. trip. But if you don't, I feel like, and I know this is going to be, like, an awkward conversation, but it's this just goes back to communication. Like, I feel like if you are going with a new group of people, Things need to be discussed before y'all go. But what if you went before y'all went on trips and you've been with, like, I've been to trips with, like, my cousins and their husbands and family, but this one particular trip, it went downhill, like, really It might have been quick. a learning experience for y'all. Like, so, like, it, not to say you're going to take a trip with them again, but it, it gave you a, an experience where, like, from now on, if I ever take a trip like this, I need to make sure I get some things clear before we go. Like, hey, look, this is hey, what y'all planning to do? Because that's that's why I like to have conversations. I, I every time I'm taking a group trip, I made a group text months before so that everybody in the trip can start discussing stuff with each other. Mm -hmm. Because we need to start having discussions before you get there. We I did hate that. getting there and then being like, oh shit, you don't want to do that. Yeah. I don't want to do this. Like, no, but they I mean, already like, talked about so this. I was already. like, I've already done that before. I don't want to do that. And that was the biggest thing. It was too many of us. Like, you could go do that with somebody else. It was just like they were trying to control. I don't like that. You trying to control what I'm about to do? The whole tribe did this shit before. Well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. That, that's my. my that's, that's why I say like this time around was kind of was cool. So I say it doesn't happen often because, like I say, I made it a point now if I take trips with multiple people, right? Mm -hmm. But say that even the day we grown. If I want to be like y'all want to do this, whatever, I don't feel like doing it. Then I need to, I can go ahead and do right, what I want to do. It's a problem with some people. Yeah, I'm talking about like, problem with some people. But I'm talking oh, you were late for dinner. Oh, yeah. you didn't show up for dinner. Yeah, so, and that was me. Yeah, so I'm so making so make a point to get that out there. But like I say, when we went out this time, whatever, we all did stuff together because we all were kind of on the same page. Yeah. Right. So but it wasn't like I had to be like, hey, nigga, we need to go this net. It was kind of like we all kind of want to do stuff, whatever, and get out. And if some niggas be like, hey, I'm sleeping or whatever, this net, right? Well, all right, shit, who up? 
the ride. That's right. how you gotta do it. Yeah. And but it, and again, so this actually bring me to another point, and we'll be about done. But again, with communication, like like Roger saying, we had a good time this time because everybody was kind of on the same page. But even if you're not on the same page, it's always best to just kind of communicate, especially if you're on trips with people that you're not that familiar with, to kind of tell them, hey, we're gonna go do this. Whoever wants to go can go. Whoever don't, you grown. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you have to have that open line of communication to where, like, when you take trips, because it's supposed to be a pleasurable experience. This is supposed to be stress-free. So the best way to limit stress in, in any situation, but especially on a trip, is to map shit out and get shit communicated ahead of time. Because if I'm not, if you're not sure, then talk about it. Because you don't want to be on a trip, like you said before, uh, and you out and you like, hey, I want to do this, and then somebody be like, oh, nigga, y'all did that shit. And now all of a sudden there's beef in a trip. And now you, you argue with people on the trip, and now it, it's not as stress free as it was before. Yeah, it shouldn't be stress. It should be like no stress or whatever. Because like I said we live in a technology age. We right. had a situation when we went to go eat when we first got down now. Mm -hmm. They had some kind of fried food special, but they brought you like a tower of fried food. Like it was like shrimp, uh, crawfish, crab, everything else on this big ass plate. With it, right. Mm -hmm. So instead of getting the individual meals or whatever, we was like, shit, we'll get that. Get a whole different plate of fries or something like that. Then we all eat off all this shit together, get our drinks with the earth. We let one nigga pay. Shit, we cash up the nigga at the table. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And shit. And then we was good. We split the check like that. And everything <laughs> was good. So like I'm saying, when you have stuff like that, like say stuff can move in technology age where niggas can pay, you have a have an issue where I gotta track a nigga down for my money. Right. Yeah. Yeah, like it, it, there's no reason to have any miscommunications because even when you okay, let's talk about like just quickly talking about like traveling abroad, like when you go to Mexico, Canada or anywhere other country, like a lot of times you'll be able to use your Wi-Fi even if your cell service isn't working well. So like you can get an app like WhatsApp and everybody communicate on that or group me or whatever. Or like in, for iPhones, our message works on Wi-Fi. So like if I want to, if I got another person with an iPhone, we can communicate mm -hmm. and I ain't got to worry about having cell service. Like you need to map those things out before you go so that there should never be any miscommunications. Like back in the day, when you had to call people room phones and you call your room phone don't have to be in the room and you're like oh shit i don't know where this nigga is he ain't answer his room phone I, don't, I can't get in touch with him like that's different everybody got cell phones everybody got multiple ways to get in touch if i can't get to if somebody going through on cell phones i can go on facebook and send you a facebook message because i've done that before like being out somewhere and all i could get was wi-fi and yeah. they, the other shit wasn't working so i had to send them a message on facebook and we communicated on facebook for the rest of the trip mm. you know what i'm saying so like there's too many ways to communicate because you want to make sure that if you, like I said, we're trying to push people to go ahead and take trips with their people and spend time with people and, you know, get hang out with your friends, but make sure that you make it a stress-free time. You don't want to make that trip be added stress for your life. Tell them. Tell but that's what I'm saying, but for yourself, for yourself, if it's somebody... So what that, if they start stressing you up? You don't deal with them. Like, that's, like, then that's what we, like what I said earlier, everybody grown. So if somebody is stressing you on a trip, you have other shit you can do without them. Mm -hmm. And you have to learn how to be like, okay, I got a room key. I'll be back. You do that shit. That's all I did. That's, I and that's, that's the out. best way to handle it. That's, that's but when we got back. Or you find at least one other person on the trip. Yeah. You can hang with be like, hey, dog, we can go do this. But when I got go. back, it was more like, oh, you were annoying, but you ain't seen me, so how was I annoying? So they want you to do. They, they you want you wasn't doing. You wasn't doing what they wanted. I wasn't. Do. I was like, man, and that's why you can't. Your husband the whole damn time. Man, you I'm can't chilling. worry about what nobody else is doing, especially no. in a low stress environment. You cannot worry about. And I know that it's hard because they're gonna keep bringing shit up to you. But that's why, like I said, it's easy to just get away from. Say, hey, look, I got a room key. I'll be back. Because like I, I've been on a Vegas trip with people where somebody left. And they were like, you know what? I'll be back. They went to the casino for like three hours. Didn't see them. They didn't come back to people with sleep because they didn't feel like dealing with shit. We did that yesterday. Yeah, we I went mean, to like uh, a concert and just stayed in casino. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like everybody is grown. Like we at a point now, nigga, you 36. You know, like, you, know what I'm saying? like you, you don't have to worry. You know about what? Like, you better text me if you don't want to know what we had. I told you I gotta go. Yeah, yeah I'm finna go, and, and you can let. And like I said, communication is important. So I would let people know. Hey, look, I'm gonna go to the casino. If anybody want to go, I'm gonna be downstairs. Mm -hmm. If don't nobody answer. I don't give a fuck because I'm going anyway. Like, I'm growing. I got a key. I can come back. True. And so, like, at the end of the day, like, group trips, people think when you go on a group trip, it's like, well, everybody you gotta do everything, has to do everything, to everything together. together. Yep. No. No. You grown. As long as you ain't getting kidnapped in Girl, Mexico somewhere. Yeah. Ain't nobody kidnapping me. No, ain't nobody kidnapping you. They're going to send you right back. Yeah. Like I said, so you have different groups <laughs> do different things and stuff like that. Like I said, we in a group of six. You know what I'm saying? You might have two people that go 
at one point in time or three people that come at one point in time. It just is what it is. You like, got that one nigga that just want to stay in the room and, and enjoy the hotel room for the trip. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I got peace and quiet. Let yeah. me just stay in the room for a second. Let me chill. Man. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Let me chill, man. Let but like I say, more, more of the stories, man, just enjoy your peoples. Because life, again, what we always say all the time, life is short. And life shit. is short, man. And stuff. And like those same people you talking about, hey, man, we're going to do something, blah, blah, and then you look up and they're not here no more. Right. Or something like that, whatever. Like I say, you miss out the time. Like, damn, when the last time we did something, and then you look at it, it's been like 10 plus years and shit. When you get that feeling, and we can end with this, when you get that feeling of like, you know, you feel like you need to spend time with your people or a certain person or whatever, a group that you haven't seen in a while and you want to spend some time with them, go ahead and start planning. Like, it don't, it don't hurt to plan. People act like you can't plan a trip a year in advance. Like, if I, like we already talked about when we were there, hey, next Mardi Gras, we're going to do this. And so, like, you start planning a trip now, like, hey, I'm going to hit y'all up. And when I was at home last time, my mama said she wants to do Christmas in uh, somewhere where it's snow. I've already started looking into the cabins and stuff for this Christmas. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you can plan trips. I'm going to Christmas now. You can plan trips way in advance. Yes, a white Christmas, Ashley. A white Christmas. I'm coming to Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's about white Christmas. But that's what I'm saying. Like, plan your trips in advance. Like, as soon as you get that feeling, like, go ahead and start planning. People going to fall off. Some yeah. people going to jump on. You might end up, you might start with, like, hey, all 10 of us talking about, hey, we've been to hit Colorado. we going skiing. And then by the time you go, like, four of y'all go, it's still a good trip. It's still a good trip. It may not even be the original four. Best memories ever. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead, and as soon as you get that feeling, go ahead and start planning. Spend time with your people, because they ain't going to be here forever. I agree. Anybody anything else before we close out? Yep. As always, hope you laugh a little, learn a lot, and hope you have helped you find the remedy of whatever's troubling you. This is what's turned the podcast. All right, y'all. Yeah.